Hi there, this is Paige with Stamp Girl here on YouTube and welcome to my channel. Welcome to Day 7 of the 7 Days of Joy Christmas Crafting with Lady Cree. And if you are playing along with us, please use the hashtag Joy Crafting with Lady Cree so that she can find your projects on YouTube and or on Instagram. So for Day number 7, I have quite a few... Um, gift card holders to share with you. They were quite easy to make. I didn't put a whole lot of effort into them, I have to admit. Um, these are made easily with the envelope punch board and the idea um, came to me from Prairie Paper Crafts here on YouTube. Hers are absolutely stunning. Like I said, I kept mine very simple and didn't put as much um, effort into them, but I used the envelope punch board and I just used a bunch of miscellaneous papers from my stash. I have a bunch of um, loose individual 6x6 six six pieces of paper that came from different collections and so I just um, used that and then I found some stickers and other embellishments in my stash that I could decorate the envelopes a little bit. But um, I used the envelope punch board to make um, a 3x4 envelope. So what I actually did is I pulled out the punch board and I made three different samples. So this is something to hold a two and a half by three and a half size um, card, like an ATC. And a gift card would certainly fit in there, but for some of the things I wanted to use it was too narrow. And then I made this one that was three by three and a half, and again it was... Um, maybe not tall enough for what I wanted. And so I settled on the measurements for a 3x4 envelope and then all I did was um, I just folded the one of the short sides in and the two bigger sides over and I didn't fold this down. In fact, as I was working on them I just um, stopped making that score line altogether. So anyway, here is one of them and decorated with a sticker and um, this is a chipboard sticker and in hindsight I wouldn't have used that because when I put my a sample gift card in it kind of got lost and so then I thought okay it needs a little something to help pull it out so I took this piece of cardstock which measures nine inches folded it in half and used a tag punch from Stampin' Up to make like a little carrier so I can like put a glue dot on the gift card and then tie some ribbon up here and stick it in here and then the recipient can easily pull it out. Um, so that was my thinking in hindsight after I had um, these decorated. But anyway, there's one of them. Here's another one with a sticker. Now the sticker overhangs up here, so I just used um, the little embossing buddy, that powdery tool, and just covered it with powder back here to take away the sticky. And then here is another one. This one, one is a chipboard sticker, and then I had another um, regular kind of sticker that I just glued on top. And then there is that. And same here, this is a chipboard sticker and this is actually another chipboard sticker. And I chose to put that on there because the bow needed something and then it matched the color and the little star decoration in here. And then, so there's that one. And then I know this is from, this paper is from Stampin' Up! Um, because I, I love the craft color with red, black, and white. Um, this was one of the few pieces I had left, and then one of the chipboard sticker sheets had a little gingerbread man, so I um, paired them with that, and then these little peppermint candy chipboard pieces too. And then the last one is this one, and this is a little Santa, and then so similar colors um, to the paper, and so I just put these two um, snowflake slash flowery looking things on here. But those are my easy peasy um, 
gift card holders for this time. If you aren't familiar with Connie's channel, Prairie Paper Crafts, is that what I called it? Prairie Paper Crafts. Check out her channel. Oh my gosh, she does magic with um, digital images. Just when she colors and adds all the details, her little characters come to life. She is an amazing crafter. You'll not be sorry stopping by her channel. So anyway, this was for day seven, and I just wanted to uh, do a rundown of what I presented all week long. So this was yesterday for day six. This was inspired by my friend Deb, who is Deb Hauk's Crafty Cottage. It's a eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper, um, folded and cut, and it forms some pockets. And you can have one pocket, two pockets, or if you want, you can even make it into three pockets like I did here. So then on, so that was day number six. For day number five from Kitchen Table Stamper, I believe it was, I made these little um, money wallets. And then for day number four from Donna Winter, I made these little ones that look like a gift package. And then from day number three, I followed a tutorial from Buckeye Inkling. This is a twin pocket card, and this again is just made with um, pattern paper folded. And then um, you have two pockets to fill, one on each side. So it can be two different gift cards, or it can be a combination of gift card and something else. And then on day number two, I shared this accordion one, which was inspired by Polly's Paper Studio. And then um, probably my favorite of all, just because it's interactive, is this one right here, inspired by Jan Brown, the Magic Wallet card. I just love playing with this. I could do this all day long. So anyway, this is my collection of gift card holders. I was thankful that um, Lady Cree invited people to join her in her seven days of Christmas crafting because it just got me focused on getting some things done and I wanted to have a nice stash of different kinds of gift card holders. I know that um, my daughter will need some for her colleagues at work and um, you know I want to give some out to my family and friends as well so it was just nice to have set out a chunk of time and get her done. So anyway, I'd like to thank all of you for joining me. And now I'm off to create.